Hi guys, just going to do a quick video on some stuff that we picked up this morning. Uh, it's Sunday afternoon now um, and we've just written everything down for our books so I thought we'd do, um, do a video while I've got all the stuff out. Um, so this PS2 console here, the slimline one, it came with all the games, the two controllers and the memory cards and paid £10 for that one. Uh, that one will go up to FBA once it's all checked and working properly. Um, and then the silver PS2, the fat PS2. Um, Jamie, he paid £5 for that one and it didn't come with anything other than that memory card. But he's already got the wires at home. Um, so that's, I think he, you know, he thought he sort of paid a bit much at £5 with nothing with it, but because we already had the wires and that controller that came with this one, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we get on. Uh, I don't think he has official wires, so for that reason we won't be sending it up to the FBA because they are not Sony wires. Um, yeah. And then this um, Sega Mega Drive, the, the new console type thing, that, uh, that one there has got 80 games in it and we paid £15 for that one and I think you'd be getting about sort of 40 back for it. I did see someone get 53 for a used one but they're, they're new about £50 I think so uh, yeah it was just um, lucky hopefully for that person. Um, these shoes here I paid um, £2 for these ones and these ones are French Connection boots. I haven't researched them but I know French Connection's a good brand, so um, yeah, pay £2 for them. These ones here are just Next Boots. I think these might actually be the ones that I picked up the other week that were new. I paid a pound for them. Uh, maybe 10 to 12 I'll get back on them. Um, not 100% sure. And then these ones here are Ted Baker ones, so I paid up a little bit. I paid £3 because they were the Ted Baker ones. And prices, looking on completed at used, um, I'm hoping to get around about 20 but the other shoes that have been selling, uh, selling I think are, are just in much you know like hardly worn condition whereas these they are in they are used um, yeah and then this Toy Story um, Woody I only picked him well no sorry I didn't only pick him up because of the guitar um, but I paid £5 for him because he had the guitar um, I think the one with the guitar seems to be you know it's like the hat it always gets lost and you know you rarely find them complete so um i paid five pound for that and i saw someone get 35 pound with the guitar one um so i'll be aiming for that as well these ghd so i mentioned this brand in my last video with the travel hair dryer this is just a case it's just a hair straightener case so you put your hair straighteners in there and then this is like a heat proof mat so you put them on there whilst you're straightening your hair um i paid one pound fifty for that one and um i think i'll probably I'll, i'm gonna aim for 10 with postage but i think that's a bit on the high side to be honest and then this is if you watched one of my old videos i this brand here, this Rio, there was like a hair remover thing that I sold for about £35. This is the same brand as that. Uh, it's like a, some um, massage thing. That I paid £2.54 and that someone's got £2. Uh, sorry, someone's got about £35 for that one. So I'll be aiming for that price as well. A lot of people have been putting this on auction and they've been going for, you know, six quid. <clears throat> So this tea's made, uh, I was really not sure about because it was under a load of stuff and I knew it was like the swan one that I wanted. Um, and I'm sure it's Ben who picked who picked this up in a video. Um, and I sort of walked away from it. Um, and I just it was just going to annoy me if I didn't pick it up and bring it home and research it. So I ended up getting it and I paid £2.50 for that one. This one I think is called a goblin one. And... Um, I think I've seen someone get 35 so I'll be aiming for that price as well that's sort of the higher end of it um, one thing on interesting on these is like the Kenwood food presses okay sorry memory filled up there um, I just have about 10 billion photos of Olive um, that I just can't delete and I'm too lazy to transfer anywhere so memory always fills up 
Um, so what I wanted to say was, uh, like the Kenwood food presses, processes, you can part these out. I saw someone get like £10 maybe with the postage for just, just the lid of that ceramic bit there. So yeah, it could be pied out as well. So I'll get it all cleaned out though and um, hopefully it will all be working fine and um, yeah, that'll be be okay. Um, this was a bit of a fail, Laura Ashley gift set. I paid £2 for this. When I look on completed listings for like Laura Ashley gift sets, it sort of seems to me like um, it's the type of gift people get and they don't really want it and they just stick it on eBay on like a 99p auction. Um, and so it's it's quite hard to determine the price, but if I can get my money back on that, that'll just be uh, you know good alone. Um, or I might just save it till Christmas and see if I can ask a little bit more. Uh, and then over here are just a load of coats. This one's Monsoon. This one here is is it Laura Ashley? Uh, sorry, John Lewis. Um, and then this is next and next here as well. I paid a pound for these, except for the John Lewis one, which I paid two pound for. It's quite uh, so. Um, these will just go in the winter box stuff that I'll be listing later on in the year. It's the wrong time of year to be buying this stuff now, uh, to be selling this stuff really. Um, so yeah, I'll just save that for for later on. Uh, and then this, <laughs> I really shouldn't have picked this up, but I. Oh, I just loved it. Um, it's just a next Christmas jumper and um, it's 50p. I would love to have had this for Olive, but she won't be that size when it's next Christmas. So um, I'll, again, I'll just hang on to that for a few months. I just picked it up really because I, I really liked it. Um, maybe get about sort of six, seven pounds plus postage in a couple of months. Uh, not a couple of months, you know what I mean. Um, and then I just went and got some did some clothes that were just like 50p. I thought I'd just take a chance and just try and learn a bit more about the clothing. So it's just like a next, so I paid 50p for all these, just a next denim jacket. Um, see how I get on with that, like not a jacket but a shirt. And then again, just a large blouse, like a sheer, I don't know, top, as you can tell, I don't do clothes. Um, this is a Topshop dress, again, just 50p, and I only picked this one up because it's got Kate Moss, um, you know, when she did her range in Topshop. I don't know if she still does it, um, but yeah, just because it's the Kate Moss range, as you can see there. So, I'll see how I get on with these, and then these are just some, I picked them up because they're a large size. What are they? An 18 and they're just quite light uh, material next again I haven't researched I don't know what I'll get back but for 50p I thought I'd just give it a go and just see what happens and then these over here if you remember when I picked up them doll clothes and they were the zap cr um, creations and like these are dirty by the way they need to go to wash um, it's like that baby Annabelle type thing so um, <clears throat> there were these clothes like this type of thing baby born um, and that one there I'll put them all in the wash but for about an outfit I've been getting uh, about six pound plus postage on them and they're just really easy to post because it was a large letter some of them even are uh, under the hundred grams like 74 75p to post so I'll just stick them in the wash and um, I pay 25p for them and I think this is some sort of cot one day I will make a video without my memory filling up I think when the seven comes out, I'm just gonna ask for, I don't know, 200 billion gig phone. Um, right, and then last of all, this Thomas track here, uh, I think I paid two, I think Jamie paid for seven, it was two pound 50. Um, gotta make sure it's all complete and everything. And once again, I haven't researched it, so I'm not sure of the resale value on that, but for two pound 50, the Tony Thomas track is worth picking up. So um, yeah, that's all the stuff that I picked up this week um and i might attach a sales video onto this one or i might put it in a separate one but thanks for watching guys and i uh, hope you had some good pickups and i'll speak to you soon